In today's tutorial, we're going to look at splicing two wires together using the pigtail method. The tools we're going to be using are some helping hands, some side cutters, and also some wire strippers. Plus also we need a trusty soldering iron so we can actually solder and tin the end of the wires. So let's get underway. So the first thing we're going to do is use some wire strippers. Um, there's different types of wire strippers you can use and also different gauges to take the shields off a wire. I'm just using a very simple pair of wire strippers. What you'd like to do is strip about two centimeters. So what I normally do is just find out where two centimeters is roughly, place the wire strippers on there, give it a little twist, and then pull the shield off. Now you can just spin it here with the shield on, you'll see the wire slowly turning together. Otherwise, if you take it all off, you notice that the end will be a little bit spray. And in doing so, just hold the end, give it that twist to bring all the wires together in a nice braid. Now we need to do that for both wires. So once again, I want to strip about two centimeters off. So you can see my mat's about one centimeter, one centimeter. Put the wire cutters on there, give it a little turn, grip, pull it apart. Need to bring that braid together, so give it a good spin. Brings all the wires together. Now I'm ready to actually join them together. Now there's lots of ways you can join them. So one of the methods, and the easiest method, is a pigtail. To do that, place them together, but not right at the bottom next to the shield. So make sure there's a gap between the two wires. And then cross them over and give them a twist. Therefore, you notice down the bottom here, they're not twisted right up against the shield. And you just keep twisting the wires around each other all the way to the end. And then you have a really good join. So when this straightens out again, it does stress the little joint in here. So there are other methods we can use. But what we'd like to do now is solder this and also We'll put a bit of shrink tube on it to give it a seal. So once again, I'm gonna place it in my helping hands. And you notice that I'll put it in the one with the shrink tube on it so it doesn't actually dent the shield. One wet and also tin your soldering iron. This will help with the heat transfer. You can hear my extraction fan working. Start at the tip up this end rather than down by the shield. Heat will actually transfer along as we go. Start by warming up the wire, hold it on there for about four to five seconds, because it is actually thick wire now because they're braided together, and apply the solder from the top. As you apply the solder, move the soldering iron slowly along, forming a nice coating of solder on the wire. And the heat will actually help it seep through the braid and tin the two wires together. Once you're finished, remember to wet and tin your soldering iron before you put it away. And then we can take it out of the, the clamps and have a look. Now you notice I've got a bit of a blob of solder on the end, which is okay, because then we can use our cutters. So we can actually use the side cutters on this one rather than the wire cutters, and just cut that off. So now it's in a decent length, you can see solder has penetrated the wires all the way along. Now what we'd like to do is put a bit of shielding on that. So to do that, I'm gonna use a bit of clear shrink shrink tube. I'm just gonna place it over the top, down, and just over the two wires. Now once you've done that, you can then cut the shrink tube with the side cutters and then we can place it back into the helping hands. And then we can use the edge of the soldering line to shrink the shrink tube. Now it's a good idea only to use either the shield up here or the black part here. And that way it protects the end of your soldering line. And also don't leave it in one spot too long because you don't want the plastic shrink tube actually sticking to the soldering line. Now this is a one in three shrink tube, so it will actually reduce it's sized down nicely. 
and once you finish shrinking it down you can put your soldering iron away again and we now have a really good pigtail joint.